YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's mail day again, and today's package comes from subscriber Lickety Splits One, aka Alon Jackson. So let's take a look at what I got. The note says, Hey Paul, I went totally nuts at the Indian grocery store today. Check out these kooky items. Looks like it's time for another taste test fiesta. <laughs> Now some of these items came separately and were not from the Indian grocery, like these Swedish Dala horse candies, which I believe came from Ikea. I'll try those, while Nifford tries these too hot for me Lay's India's Masala Chips. Okay, I'm glad you have that one. I'm glad I do too. Okay. Oh look, this is like a, a dog or a horse, I don't know, and you have that. Yeah. They match. Uh -huh. They do match, okay. These are very chewy, but they taste really good. These are all horses, all right? They're little horses. These are made with high quality potatoes. I don't really want to read the rest of the ingredients because sometimes not knowing is better, but I did see turmeric in there, which is very good for fighting inflammation. It makes it a nice color. There's turmeric in this too. Really? Mm-hmm. Tumor power activate. Mm. Also got this blue raspberry flavored laser pop projector candy. It's a real lollipop but not a real laser. And it projects a little sad face. <laughs> Next up is one of my favorites, nickel nips. Mmm boy nickel nips. I haven't had these in a long time, but when I was younger, my favorite one was the pink or red one, whatever color that is. So, of course, we always bit to the top of the wax bottle off. And then you just drink the cough syrup. Mm-hmm. Right out of the bottle. You gotta drain it dry. Mm-hmm. Just like I remember it. Now I'll try this Dip and Lick Slush Puppy Lollipop with powder candy, and Niffer's going to have the Pop Rocks bubble gum. Okay. I used to eat these as a kid. Okay. So I'm opening this, so and this is the powder you dip it in. So I'm just supposed to. Ugh, go, I'm just supposed to chuck weird. these in, right? Yeah, I just put them in your mouth. I don't know. All right, look at this thing. <laughs> it's just, so this is a plunger for an acid trip. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, right, that's a great thing. Look at that. All right. Now you dip it in the slush puppy powder. Get it coated real good. Is it sour? Why you made it? Are you face? swallowing that? I'm chewing it. Okay. I'm just chewing gum it. and I'm chewing it. This is very, very sour. If you like mm -hmm. sour, maybe you'll like it. I hate sour. You want to trade? No. Now we've got something kind of strange. It's a text messenger strawberry bubble mania gum. There it is, a text messenger machine. You have to open it up and then you pull out the spool of gum. All right, so we gotta open this up. It's a very um, chemically strawberry induced smell. All right, we're gonna put that inside the text messenger and then we pull it up like this. So what I'm seeing on text messenger gum is you don't really see the emoticon very well. It's it's not a very good print. It's not like a Gutenberg printing press or anything like that, or a, a 3D printer. It's pretty uh, crappy. See what the gum tastes like? It's actually very similar to the taste of like a strawberry gum flavor that I remember that would have been in a pack of trading cards back in the 80s. But I wouldn't suggest trying to send any very important text messages with this. Next up is a Sweet Soaker candy filled gun. Okay, this is a little squirt gun. The only thing cooler would be if you could shoot the candy into your mouth. That would be pretty cool. You have to screw off the tube of the candy. There's that. Okay. Let's see what our Super Soaker candy tastes like. Oh, man. Ugh. Talk about jawbreakers, whoop-de-doo. This should maybe be called random trip to the dentist. <laughs> Who knows how many teeth you're gonna break. 
We also have some foods that would have to be prepared, lychee jelly crystals and Thai clear jello. We love to use the and products from Gits. Hmm. We have nylon common and rice idli. Looks like you need some special molds to make these. This product sure looks orange. Gits Jalebi Mix with a free Jalebi maker. Let's see if I can talk Niffer into making Jalebi. Look at this. Jalebi. The hairs come free, whatever those are. Ready in three easy steps. Makes 25 Jalebis. It's like putting baby food in a bottle, but it's jalebi food. I should call it spaghetti instead of jalebi. Well, that's cool, huh? Oh, mm -mm. even better than mama! Well, here's the jalebi. There it and is. We're supposed to put sugar on it, but we don't have any sugar. So, Niffer put some, uh... Agave maple syrup, which is basically uh, sugar. So it's all sticky now, and I don't want to really have to touch that, so... You're like those dogs that don't want to touch water. But I have these chopsticks, so I'll, I'll eat them with the chopsticks, okay? So, here we go. I'll For better this. or worse, let's see what we've got here. Okay, I'm going to get this one. No, it tastes like funnel cake, kind of. It's fried, fried dough, but... It has wheat and garbanzo, so I thought it would taste more like garbanzo, but I don't taste it. A little bit. But I'll eat all this. Honey, your intestines are going to get clogged. Look at this. It's. A, I like to look at it and make it more than I like to eat it. Let's, let's put it that way. We also got some Sean Fruit Shot. What am I saying here? Well, it's some kind of spice garnish for fruit. I guess we could try it out, but maybe I'll punch it first. I just punched that. I was defending your honor. Okay, you know, open that up. Here's, we have some pre-cut apples. These did not come with the product. Okay. okay. Here we go. No, okay, oh, geez. What? Well, I don't think you should put too much on there until we, you know, you just lightly sprinkle it, maybe. This smells, all right? This smells like, what, a barnyard? Is that what it smells like? No, a fart. It smells like a barnyard to me. You ready to eat this dirt, dirty apple food? Yeah. There we go. Mmm, 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 This pains me to eat this. I'm eating it. It tastes like an Indian grocery store smells. Mm-hmm. To me. All but right. hopefully not the part where it's sticky on the floor. That smell. I've had enough of that for the rest of my life, for sure. You shan't eat it again. Okay, I'm definitely ready for the cookies. I'll eat the hide-and-seek cafe mochas, and Niffer will have the choco and nuts wonderfuls. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, here it is. Cafe mocha. This will keep me up all night. I don't know wow. what it's chocolate nuts. Watch out. Mmm. It has mm. that really good coffee taste. You know the one I'm talking about. Wow. That it, it's uh, very strong, but it's very delicious. Very flavorful. So this one tastes like that artificial chocolate flavor, but it's kind of good, like Nestle Quick, you know? And I don't really taste the nuts. Mm. I mm -hmm. see them. They're there, but they're tiny nuts, and they're just there for protein, I guess. Now I'll try the pineapple treat. Well, this really will be a treat for me because I do enjoy the flavor of pineapple. The cookies seem to be in a little uh, sailing vessel here, a small little boat, and you just pull it right out. This is what the cookie looks like right here. Pineapple treat. The pineapple taste could be a little stronger. It's a little weak, but uh, not too bad. Now I'll have the good day butter cookies, and Niffer will try the sweet and salty Cracker Jacks. I'll eat this because of the name. Crack Jack. All right. And not, not to be confused with Cracker Jacks. No, just Crack Jack. 
Oh, I should have this circle. Why am I eating this? It's buttery and sweet, a little bit sweet. It has a classic butter cookie taste that I remember from being when I was a kid. Um, but it's actually very good. It's a very, it's like the good version of those crappy generic butter cookies. And I say, who am I to judge if this is good or not? But it brings back the memories of childhood and eating those little biscuits. Now I'll eat the Britannia Nice Time Coconut Biscuits. I'm not a huge fan of coconut, and the word biscuit always conjures up images of something very, very dull and bland. Let's see how this tastes. Well, the good news for me is the coconut is not very overpowering. Now, that might not be good news for you if you like coconut. It's just kind of like one of those cookies you can get at Christmas in a big tin, you know, where they're all kind of interchangeable. It's not very uh, interesting. Next up, I got some milk beaky biscuits, and Niffer gets the berry and nut wonderfuls. Um, we got the nuts and berries for nature girl, here. and I'm giving this uh, milk beakies. <laughs> I've been saying this for days. Milk beakies. I think you <laughs> I mean ears, right? So. Oh, it smells like. It smells like like weird fruit. So. That's strange smell. Yeah, it's like it's like um, it smells like lychee. Well, these are very dip into your milk. I guess that's why they're called milk beakies because they're they're very plain. There's nothing special about them. I don't know what these are good to dip into, but they're better to smell. You get kind of high. I didn't have to look hard to find the hide and seek chocolate chip. Here it is. It's a little square cookie with some ridges on it. The smell of it is just delightful. It's sort of a chocolatey smell, but like not just like a crappy chocolate smell. It's like it's a really nice chocolate smell. Mm, yeah, a few seconds into that, it's just, it explodes. It's, oh, it's good. That's a good cookie. Let's try the Parl G Original Gluco Biscuits. He likes it. He likes it. For some reason, the word Gluco Biscuits makes my mind imagine all sorts of medical misadventures. Uh, I'm not really sure what I mean by that, but, right, but it's a little biscuit. It almost looks like a little, like, an, I don't know, an arrowroot cookie or something you'd give a, uh, a kid. If he likes it, that's good enough for me. Let's try it. This is very bland, and it's the kind of thing that you would dip into your milk, or tea, or coffee, or hot chocolate, or whatever. Yeah, dip it in your tea. Now for a chocolate chip sandwich cookie. Hide and seek fab. I love sandwich cookies. That's among my favorite kinds of cookies. Here it is. It's sort of a uh, very chocolatey, fudge-looking kind of um, sandwich cookie. That's great. You'll be eating every little crumb that fell out on that one. You'll be like, is it, did, did, I, did I miss any other ones? Mmm. Finally, it's our last cookie. Literally, I ate the rest of them. A sandwich cookie called Happy Happy. Well, like I said, I love sandwich cookies. So I ate almost all of these before we even made the video. If you open this, you can see that there are two... It's all right. Three second rule, right? I picked it up. So it's pink on one side. White on the other. Here we go. Those were great when I first opened them, but uh, that one got stale because the package got left open, um, so it didn't taste as good. But it was good when I first ate it. It was like eating a birthday cake, but it was a cookie. Mmm. Mmm. A big thanks goes out to the founder of the feast, Lickety Splits One, a.k.a. Alon Jackson. I hope that you enjoyed the Taste Test Fiesta. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.